This is a conversation during a stakeholder meeting that presented findings from a study on the vulnerabilities and linkages between online and offline engagements in the narrative development and dissemination of violent extremism. Mr. Sami Gadi from Yadin East Africa offers his perspectives on the findings from the study. What is the linkage between criminality and violent extremism? If we understand that violent extremism that we are fighting, and very clearly so, then it will become interesting to say how does 42 Brothers, uh, as a criminal gang with the element of uh, ideological leaning, but the end game is uh, criminality and, and game, but not violent extremism, how can they be uh, actively engaged? Where does the religious cover sit in the narrative discourse? The simplistic uh, uh, exploitation of uh, religious text or religious narrative, narrative uh, of the jihadis and the jannas and all those and, and jana going to paradise and all those kind of things that they have faded away as uh, it's not a persuasive uh, narrative anymore. Uh, people need a little bit more. What lessons can we learn from the Garissa University attack? The, the, the post uh, Garissa University attack. You see, according to the narratives sent out there, there's an acknowledgement that it actually hurt uh, Al Shabaab uh, or the perpetrators more than it aided. So you can see them, you can see it, um, the religious being used as the, the primary, that's what I'm calling simplistic uh, interpretations, uh, being watered down to a much more uh, uh, political uh, messaging or social exclusion uh, 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 messaging. What is this research confirming on targeting of narratives to prevent violent extremism? Before narratives for violent extremism recruitment were more mass targeted. You know, you throw the net and see how many you can get. But you see, uh, again, now it's much more targeted almost to an individual. And maybe in these new territories uh, that people are getting into, uh, it's nice to acknowledge that, that you're not going to have those mass. So actually, uh, it is us, the people who are doing uh, prevention and countering about extremism, that actually are introducing the old narratives uh, to people. Like, they will come and tell you that if you go to heaven, you know, they will come and tell you, it's actually us, but the, 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 the real uh, radicalizers are not using that. Based on the data, what comes first, radicalization or recruitment? We need to look at the radicalization as a process. And the uh, assumption is that we are recruiting or we are radicalizing you. But I think uh, radicalization now, it happens Far much later, the target now for most uh, for before it was recruitment, then uh, radicalization, then recruitment. But now you see more and more, it is more of recruitment. When you get in, for whatever reason, I will I will I will persuade you to get in. I will radicalize you later.